what's up guys and welcome back to the channel with myself north 47 for some more of the golf club 2019 and today we are going to be playing the second round of the open to peru at, Heather at heatherton kings <coughs> excuse me on the pga tour and tgc tours as you can see sitting at eight under after round one hoping to do a little bit better or make a little bit more ground towards the uh, top of the leaderboard in this round <coughs> excuse me again um so what have we got now for round two we got firm greens and fairways very fast Green speed and medium winds and wind speed or wind direction. Not that it really matters to be honest. Uh, looks to be either southeast or southwest. Um, so hopefully it's a favorable direction for the course. <clears throat> also, what I want to talk about in this uh, video, I don't know how best I'm going to be able to talk about it, but um, a new subscriber to the channel, I do apologize. Your name has. Uh, gone out of my mind now at the moment but you do you know who you are anyway um just asking me about the tempo of the downswing and how how do i achieve personally myself the uh a perfect downswing on a consistent basis um uh, did say in the comments of the previous video that it plays on ps or play plays on pc with e and goes between an xbox one controller and a dualshock 4. um now I have heard a lot that people do have tempo issues quite bad um, that it is very inconsistent on both Xbox and PC. Now I don't know if that's just down to those platforms or if it's down to the controllers in particular the Xbox One controller. I don't know if that's a standard Xbox One controller or an Xbox One Elite controller. I have no idea. Um, but I will try best to describe what I do. Basically what I do now, if you're holding your controller in your hands, you've got your thumbs resting on the thumbsticks. Now I use the left thumbstick myself. Um, what I do is obviously, as I say, thumbs are resting on the thumbsticks. Now as I pull back, my, as I pull back the back, uh, for the backswing like that, as you can see, my thumb is on the top of the thumbstick as per normal. But as I get to the top of the backswing, about, as I reach, as I reach here, and obviously it's not going to pause, I, uh, but as I'm getting closer to the top of the backswing, I'm letting my thumb sort of just slide off to the bottom side of the thumb stick, and then I just flick the stick forward. So we'll see how it goes here. I'm going for a fast backswing as well, so I'm not going to be literally going all the way up to the top of the backswing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flick forward for the downswing just a millisecond before the, the top of the backswing. And there we go. So a perfect downswing. Now, the best thing to do, um, as I said, you're having trouble with uh, with getting the perfect downswings either fast or slow, is, um, now I don't know what the um, the dual shock is like on PC. Um, I don't know if it's as inconsistent as the Xbox One controller can be. Now, hopefully HB sort all this out with the upcoming patch that is ready to drop any time this month or any uh, future patches they can sort of sorted out but um is basically just have a look at that feedback meter and the blue square obviously the top blue square in your feedback meter that is obviously going to be for your downswing the more to the top of that is obviously going to be for a slow downswing and to the bottom more towards the, the that center middle area of the um of the feedback meter that's going to be for a very fast uh, or faster a very fast downswing just see how close the white arrow is, <coughs> excuse me, to um to being in that uh to being in that blue square. If it's not much out, if it's literally just just a whisker outside of it, you might just need to just ever so slightly just be a little bit slower, just a, a fraction of a second slower on your on the push forward of the stick or the flick. I mean, there's so many grip styles or swing styles you can do. You can do the chest grip, which is uh either one or two fingers on the top and your um. And your thumb at the bottom of the the stick and pull back with the two finger one or two fingers and then flick forward with the with your thumb another method which i don't know how people do is because me trying it now actually just just while i'm talking here is two thumbs on the one stick and pulling back and pushing forward with both thumbs now that to me without even doing i'm actually gonna i'll go into a yeah that's practice swing i'll go into a practice swing now and have a look now this is two thumbs on the one stick for me and already thumbs are sliding off but that actually that's it that's a very good swing actually it's pretty straight it was a perfect downswing but it was bordering fast that was a very incomplete swing there 
try it one more time. And as you can see, like if you look at that white arrow there now, like uh, if you just rewind it back to there, rewind the video back and have a look and just see where the white arrow comes up. Um, I was pretty much on the perfect, but it was just bordering to being a fast. So just keep an eye on that. That's the best thing that you can do really for um, for gauging your tempo. I mean, I don't really know, as I say, apart from saying how I how I swing myself, I've just I've gotten used to the pace that I flick my thumb forward. And what I find as well with the flick method is it eliminates any natural rotation that your thumb wants to make. So it's not going to make you pull the ball left or push it right or anything like that. So the flick kind of helps with that. But as for tempo, it's it's very hard to try and um, explain to people what to do. You just kind of really do have to find that rhythm. But again, as I said, as I did mention a minute ago, the tempo seems to be very erratic and inconsistent from what I've heard uh, for people using both PC um, or Xbox One. I don't know if it's just down to the controllers. I mean, some people even with the with the PS4 as well have bad tempo issues. And from what I can gather, that it, it, it can be down to a number of reasons. You're an older Warren Dual Shock, or it could be like myself. I used the version one Dual Shock, which I got five years ago with the PS4. Um, and people have been saying that the version two, which you would get now a standard, I believe, with. I know definitely anyway the PS4 Slim and the PS4 Pro. I'm not sure about the, the standard PS4s if they're even being <laughs> made anymore to be honest. Um, but I have heard about those. Uh, the version 2s work better if you're playing on PS4. By having the, the having the controller hardwired or wired up to the console itself. And then in the settings uh, disable, it, uh, disable the Bluetooth setting and have it set for wired and that should help to eliminate any uh, tempo issues that you might be having that way um so if you are playing on ps4 and you have tempo issues make sure to give that a try if you are using a version 2 of the dual shock and i do believe as well before we do crack on with the round that the version 2 of the dual shock 4 you can do that with the normal standard original edition of the ps4 it do, one of the updates that sony put out it does it that setting was added in for if you do have a dual shock uh version 2 so we'll crack on with the round and uh, as i say just keep an eye keep an eye on the way that my uh, feedback meter goes throughout the round for uh for swings and um as i say that, that that's all i can suggest really as best as possible that i can think is to just keep an eye on your feedback meter and see is if it's consistently on the fast you just need to go just that little bit slower and just just fine tune it basically so we'll move on with the round anyway um and if I do happen to come up with that a bit throughout the round, um, I'll do my best if I can touch on it any more at all than what I just have. But we've got 179, playing about 180 into the pin here. Now, what did the greens say they were? Firm, if I remember right, firm. Um, wind looks to be about 6 to 8 mile per hour. So 180, I'm thinking 7 iron. And, yeah, I'll put out a little bit. Hold that a little bit, but as you can see, it's decently inside that blue square there for a perfect downswing. And I came up a little bit short, so I could have actually I could have de-lofted that a little bit. <coughs> so a bit of a lengthy put. Just need to get a look at the rest of them beads. It does look to be left to right all the way. Nothing major by the looks of it. So I'm not even out to the green line. I'll put it out to about here. 31 is going to be playing about 49. Green speeds are 187, so they're at their fastest. Oh, can I turn a bit more? Ooh, almost. Almost, it was only more about half, between half and three quarters the way out to that line. <coughs> but we'll take a par. Yeah, let's take a quick sip of the yellow beer. Enjoying a few a uh, few cold ones tonight. It is actually uh, my birthday today, so I think it's uh it's permitted to chill out with a few beers. Okay, one thirty eight again. I'm gonna say that's about. I doubt it's yeah. It's not up at ten. I'd say I'll say about eight mile per hour. So one thirty eight and on the eight it's gonna be one forty six. We'll call it one forty eight. I'm actually just gonna club it up once. And I'm not going to touch the loft at all. And I'm going to go for a perfect backswing this time. 
There we go. Just bordering towards a fast downswing. Actually, it's just inside that blue square. But that wasn't too bad of an approach at all. And that's as well... Um, if you're wanting to go between a fast or a very uh, fast or a perfect backswing, oh, just about that was starting to turn. Um, what I do is, as I did mention at the start of the video there on the first hole, once you know where the top of your backswing, once you know where it's where the, the club is going to stop, so say, boom, there we go, top of the backswing. What I found that I need to do for a perfect backswing because sometimes I found that even though you're at, you reach the top of the backswing and you push forward and you get the perfect downswing you can still get a bit of a fast down uh, fast backswing um, and you might not be wanting it at, on that particular shot it can that was a good strike considering I'm talking it can work out for you in certain in certain situations bunkered um, but you don't always want it so what I found what I need to do is when I pull back I need to just hold it just for about a, about a half a second at the top of the backswing and then push forward and that'll have it nicely in the perfect range for a backswing similar to back in TGC 1 uh, just bear with me two seconds 89 playing about 91 definitely gonna play sand wedge just to get it out of this bunker I'm gonna de-loft it a little bit as well Yeah, similar to in TGC1, what myself and a number of other people found were um, when you took your backswing, as soon as you reached the top of your backswing and you pushed forward, you wouldn't, obviously we didn't have the tempo swing back then, um, you wouldn't get 100% power in your shot. So what we found, what we'd have to do is when we reached the top of the backswing, this is the, this is why, me, myself personally, why I'm so glad that we switched over to the tempo swing, is you could literally you could do the following you could do that just sit here like this and obviously I'm not going to do it now but then you could push forward on your downswing you could basically go off make yourself a cup, make, make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee make a sandwich if you want come back and push forward and you get 100% uh, power on your downswing um, so it's similar to that just what I do for the perfect downswing so I just hold it literally for about a half a second not even a half a second at the top of the backswing just to make sure that I get a perfect uh, a perfect backswing I was actually wanting a fast backswing there but uh, it's not a problem anyway I'd rather rather be off the green than trying to get it in one that'd be a monstrous putt if I had it gotten onto the green um, so I've got 33 I'm gonna be playing about 34 this is a sand wedge flop uh, or is it not gap wedge I think it'd be better a little bit of a headwind as you can see there now I just held just for a fraction of a second at the top of the backswing for the flop shot and it's nicely in the perfect it's bordering towards being a slow down or a slow backswing but still inside the perfect range whereas if I had just pushed forward as soon as it reached the top uh, that could potentially have been a fast backswing and added an extra two to three yards on there and it's in for a birdie so there's a, a few little things hopefully hopefully I've described as best as I can um, about the swings but as I say especially when taken into consideration um, different platforms obviously myself being on PS4 oh big pull there um, yeah taken into consideration Xbox One and PC I've never played the golf club on either of those platforms so and I've it's been a long time since I held an Xbox style controller so I actually have a, a GameStop uh, a GameStop branded Xbox 360 controller that I used to use when I play Euro Truck 2 um, and I actually I was digging through some stuff not long ago and came across it and I was actually trying out the swing and it actually felt extremely uncomfortable trying to play or trying to take a swing I can only imagine what my swing would be like if I was actually playing the game using the control using an Xbox controller just down to the position of the uh, the left thumbstick because I cannot for the life of me play with uh, play with the right thumbstick <coughs> so I don't know if a lot of people actually have tempo wishes to just to do it simply with the position of the thumbstick itself so 
so that could actually be another one especially if you are using it if you are on xbox or using an xbox controller on pc that could be another one to look into is just um maybe just shifting the grip that you use on the controller or trying a different swing method like the chest grip or the, well I, I don't know how you'd do the two two thumbs on a, on an xbox controller itself but definitely get, it's worth playing around and just seeing oh very slow i did push forward quite a bit slow on that one to be honest or flick forward so as you can see that was well outside the square there as well and that's a horrible lie considering the fact it kind of rolled a little bit in the bunker but didn't think it'd be that bad now so I definitely will definitely play the pitch and wedge hopefully it comes out at this uh thing doesn't come out nice and clean fast down swing so that's getting the extra few yards sit there sit straight off the other side of the green that's what I hate about the uh the fast down swings on the flop shots it really just sends that ball on quite a bit further than you want it to very good swing line there bordering towards a slow downswing though but on the chip shots that's not really uh that's not really a problem at all it's not as tempo based i find that swing isn't um as any other shot type that you have in the game it's more ba more along the lines of a putt to be honest that's just personally how i I feel anyway and what I find myself <coughs> oh is it gonna yeah it's gonna hold that left side <coughs> I don't know what the second round lead score is actually I, I just know uh, that it was 14 under for the first round I think it was 14 or 15 under anyway after I'd recorded the last video well seven I think a slight little touch aloft out a little bit great swing there Going a little bit further around than I wanted but that should be pretty close that's only about six feet hopefully walk away with the birdie here oh I thought I gave it too much power there I'm getting a little bit more confidence back with me putting I was playing uh, the latest event in the Emerald Golf Tour earlier on today and uh, I was putting pretty well on that, uh, in particular in the second round. I believe, if I remember correct, it was 12 under in the first round, and I know it was 16 under in the second round. Uh, two round events, so 28 under. I played, uh, after that, then I played the first two rounds of the True Sim Tour this week, and I think it was five under for the first round and four under for the second round, so not the greatest. I was kind of putting quite bad in that, but again, there's no green grid, so. Oh, pull that big to the left. Just carry the bunker and I'll be happy. There we go. I don't mind if it goes off the green. That's just going to be a nice little chip in now. Uh, I'm gonna drop it down to a lob wedge I think greens are firm and very fast so hopefully it can run up a little bit go on run up uh, I was hoping to get a little bit more but I think the uh, the sand wedge would have been just a little bit too much for it I could have put some loft on but it's not very often it's really uh, the only time I really do loft on a chip there the majority of the time and it was at the lob wedge when it's below nine yards or nine yards or below should I say great swing there so as you can see like I mean like I don't 100% of the time get it perfectly straight like that but that's a very straight swing line there but that as I say I find is down to uh, down to doing the flick method myself um, before I was doing the f before doing the flick method when the game first came out my swing line was everywhere <coughs> And then I moved across to uh, doing the flick method that I, I had kind of picked up a little bit in TGC2. And ever since, I haven't really had a problem. 
obviously I do still get the wobbly swing lines and I do still get the fasts and slow down swings and stuff as well at the end of the day I'm not a robot so <laughs> that was a, a great approach in there and in we go for a birdie so what score are we at and what hole are we on we are six under through nine so that, that's perfect uh, one shot better than what my usual target does be now do I want to try and take it over here I've got a bit of a tailwind so I think aiming about there I should get up over those trees pulled it left so I think that's going to be bunkered or is it oh just just misses the bunker got lucky there <laughs> but nearly ran into the bunker on the far side but not a bit of a bit of a reward for taking the risk 32 so this is gonna be a sand wedge flop all over tiny touch of D left on it flop shot is the hardest one I think to get the tempo right on just because you have such a small window oh and hits the pin for that for the perfect on um, both the fast or both the fast both the uh, downswing and the backswing so it's very very easy to get a a fast or slow downswing backswing is not too bad to be consistent on getting a perfect but most definitely the downswings are uh, they can be a bit temperamental if you're just the ever so slightest off on them uh, it, uh, yeah it should be fine as you see, like I know we had a bit of a tailwind there, but that fast backswing does help give it to that give it that extra few yards. A fast downswing does as well, but if you're not purposely trying to do a fast back a uh, fast downswing, um, it can land you in a heap of trouble. A little bit of a pull on that one, but it's actually helping me out a little bit. And great distance on that, just a little bit. I put it a little bit too far to the right. <coughs> the ball may have actually been below the feet as well. I wasn't really paying attention to that. <coughs> but we're moving along nicely, I have to say, in this round. I hope I don't uh, jinx it by going and saying that, but 8 under through 11. Oh wow, that was a very fast. Now I did feel a bit slow on the downswing there, but I didn't think I was that slow. So this is going to be a bit of a tricky one. Um, I think it's a par five. Now what's a point? Oh no, I can't see. I can't see. Um, so make sure that I'm not aimed at that tree. No, we're well clear of that tree there. So I'm wondering will a punch shot come out of here nicely? Need to try and get the camera where I can see a bit of my golfer there. That'll have to do. 84% um, lie, right? Let me see. I'll flub it up a few times. And give me a punch shot. 121. Okay, we'll do a 9 iron punch. Now, hopefully, this can come out fairly good. Not too bad. Got it up there. 121 yards, so I'm happy enough with that. It was a difficult shot. I'm slightly above the feet, 204, playing 206. Bit of a headwind. So I'll put it out a little bit and I'm going to fully loft this and hopefully that should be enough. Bit of a pull on it, but otherwise good swing. <coughs> Can I get up on it? No, that's not going to get the green. Or is it? Ah, just shy. Unlucky there. A little bit less on the D loft would have been there. Ah, <laughs> not to worry. I did put near full left on it anyway. So I'll just take a par there. Unfortunate it is a par five. It's always the best opportunity to be walking away with a with a birdie as a par five. Great swing again. Ah. 
and I guarantee as well I, I, your your name I do apologise name is still not coming into my head but I guarantee as soon as I finish recording now uh, it'll uh, click click into the uh, click into the front of the mind it's in the back of the mind there somewhere but I just cannot think of it okay I think a sound wedge straight up maybe a tiny touch of loft should be good pulled again pulling them a bit on the approach shots today but it's not too bad and oh can it get in oh almost almost dropped in on that hop there <coughs> but just a little tap in for birdie over to nine under okay all 14 Great drive, perfect downswing that time, nicely in the centre of that blue square. Two eighty-seven, bit of a headwind. Don't we got no, I'm not going to get on the green. Don't think so anyway, but we'll give it a go. We'll smash it up there with the two wood. No chance, even with a fast back swing, wouldn't have made the green. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay. Gap wedge flop. Need to be careful now. Don't want to go too long, so I think I'll put a tiny little bit of loft on there. Oh, slow down swing, so it's not going long anyway. Just don't come back too far, and I'm happy. That'll do me. It's inside 10 feet. Wasn't sure if I gave that enough to hold the break or not, but just got it in there nicely, and that will bring it to ten under. I think that's actually for the last number of rounds. Now it's the first time been at ten under for a while. So 176, playing about 178 with that wind. Okay, right. So, uh, yeah, eight iron is going to be going to be too short. So I think lofting up a little bit. A seven iron would be just nice. Good swing. Just hopefully it carries that bunker. It's looking good though. Now if it didn't sit quick. <laughs> Very close to going in and it's off the green. Unfortunate there, just a little bit too much. A little bit too much on it, just cut that slope. Now here is a tricky one. Chip shot is out of the question. It's gonna have to be a flop. Just hopefully it does not come back. Perfect, that'll do. So we'll walk away with the par, provided I do make this little four footer. And we do. I have missed them in the past. Tried to push them through the break and they just lip out on me. Nothing more infuriating than that. Okay, should be good about here. Great swing. <clears throat> now is this a par four or par five actually? This is a par four. One fifty one. Wind is about oh let me see, I can't see the full I can't see the actual outline of the circle there. There we go. Um I'm gonna say wind is about six. So I'll say one fifty seven. So I'll play the eight iron. The wind can hold it up. It can take that slope if it does go a little bit long. Great swing. It's coming around nicely. It is going long. And it's going to sit there. Unfortunate there. I was hoping the wind would hold it up just a little bit more. Now I'll just get down. Let's have a little look at this. I'm going to say roughly about the green line. I'll take five off that, so it's kind of a 14. Don't want to over hit it, which I have done, and put it out way too far. Didn't break as much as I thought it was going to. But we take the par. <coughs> So 
So 17, can we get better than 10 under? Slow down swing, that could be in trouble. Oh, thankfully it didn't come around too far, especially the wind is angled in this direction as well, so a little bit lucky there. Okay, it's kind of a 156, I think a 9 iron will be just nice with a little bit of loft on it. Or maybe not actually, it's on, it's on a good upslope. I'll put a tiny bit on, not too much, just a couple of touches. Great swing. Oh, wind is not pulling it around. Oh, don't no, stay there. There we go. A bit of a slope there. Not lucky. I could have run off. Oh no, I want to be careful with this one. This one looks relatively flat. Yeah, it's it's flat all the way here. These few little grid lines here, though, I do actually just want to be careful of. Very very subtle little break on them. back pretty much level now I think I'm just gonna put it just right at the pin oh wow that's gone off to the right Ooh, now I'm gonna have a look back at this now I'm gonna be facing that direction have a look at uh yeah there's not much break there unless I, I didn't see the swing line there on the put so I might have pushed it a little bit so a bit unlucky there as I think it would have um, would have gone a bit right to left more than it was going to go left to right. That's the way that I looked at it anyway, just with those subtle little bits of break. But it did really kick off to the right. So all I can think is that I did indeed push the put. I'll have to have a look back at that when I'm uh, editing the video. 147. Now, fully loft the 9 iron, or near fully loft. There's really not much wind in it. I'm going to put about half, half to three quarters. Great swing on it. It's coming around nicely, and I just hopefully it gets the distance. It's looking very good, though. If I can sit quick enough, that's not bad at all. It looks to be just inside 10 feet, which it is at 9. Uh, this looks like it's just going to be a right edge. And in we go. Make it to 11 under par, so more than happy with how that round went. <coughs> As I say, it's been a, a number of rounds now since got to double digits under par. Um, and actually not too far behind the other guys um, for this round. It was a uh, going by this 15 under uh, GW Hope is... The lowest round he'd be stein then a 13 under for the round with gnarly panda and kusoki coming up at 12 under actually there's a uh, kazja 01 i think that's how you pronounce it at 13 under as well but 27 under is the lead <coughs> only eight off the lead so that's not too bad at all <coughs> um but again hippie stein is actually in the other event so maybe a little bit closer to the top i'll switch over to the scorecard and finish out just that one bogey um Making the scorecard look bad with that red number on there, but otherwise very, very happy with that round, especially the front nine. Very solid uh, back nine as well. Couple of puts could have dropped, especially that one there on the 17th. That did push off. That that was nearly a guarantee that put was. Unfortunately, it was a bad one. Um, but now I'll say very happy with that round again. It is the first round in a while that I have hit double digits. So uh, hopefully rounds three and four can go that way. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to make the put, but I'm going to leave the video there. Again, I do hope that I helped um, helped any of you that do require any help with uh, tempo and the swings across the platforms as best as I can um, with how I can describe them. I don't have a, a cam, um, so, I, uh, so I can't actually sh I demonstrate on camera to uh, to show how I swing myself. Um, I can try and maybe do something with the phone, but it'll be a little bit awkward trying to swing it one hand. But I'll wrap the video up here. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, do drop it a like. Um, if you're new to the channel or you haven't already, please do subscribe. And thank you as well also to any and also anybody who has subscribed so far to the channel. Uh, don't forget to click that bell icon. Uh, stay notified of when I do upload. And I shall talk to you all in the next one for round three of this event. Until then, take care. Have yourselves a good one and bye for now.